After Effects can make really cool water by using compound effects. So let's go ahead and navigate to the project panel and let's start placing some of these in folders. So let me sort them by the type, create a folder just for the compositions. And let me drag it in there. And another folder for the stills. And I'll drag these in there. And finally one for the movies. And I'll drag those in there. Much better, much cleaner. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. You can leave these as it is. Even 10 seconds is fine. 720 by 480. Let's just call this composition Water. And click OK. Go ahead and create a solid. The color does not matter. So Layer, New, Solid. And click OK. Let's apply to this solid the Wave World effect. So go to the Effects and Presets and type in Wave and there it is, Wave World. And apply this to the layer. Let's go ahead and uh, see in the Effect Controls panel what we have. What we have is the Wireframe Preview. Let's go ahead and change that to the Height Map. And we have two producers. These are the things that are going to be making the waves. Let's go ahead and keyframe the first one. And let's start it somewhere around here. Moving time to about three seconds, and let's move it all the way across diagonally. And let's end the composition there. N for the work area bar to finish it there. Right click, trim comp to work area, and there you go. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and create a different solid layer, new solid. This time, let's make it blue. And click OK. Let's apply to that solid an effect called Caustics. And there it is. Go ahead and drag it to the layer. Here we go. Basically, we're going to be using the bottom layer, which is the waves. So let me go ahead and rename it. And the top one, I'll rename Water. We're going to be using the Waves layer to create the waves on the Water layer. So we're going to use it as a compound effect. So where it says Water, Water Surface, choose the waves. And immediately we should see some waves there, but we are not seeing them. Hmm. The issue with this is as follows. The layer that you're using for a control layer cannot have any effects. And the reason for that is because the effect, in this case caustics, cannot see the wave world effect that has been applied to that layer. So if you make any changes or you have any effects on whatever layer you're using for the control layer, you need to pre-compose. So let's go ahead and select the waves layer and choose Layer, Precompose. Make sure that Move All Attributes into the new composition is selected and click OK. When you do that, now the caustic effects is seeing the waves that the Waves Comp 1 has. So remember, this is very important. Whatever layer you're using for the control cannot have any effects. And if it does, you need to pre-compose. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the caustics effect. Imagine this is a pool. It could be anything, right? But uh, let's say we're making a commercial for a pool business. We can actually have a logo, a painting, text, whatever we want at the bottom of the pool. So let's go to the project panel and let's import a file. Let's import the flower.ai file. Click on Open. Make sure that it is footage and you merge all the layers. And click OK. And let's drag this image to the composition. 
We can actually make it invisible by clicking on the eye icon, select the water layer, go to the Effect Controls panel, and where it says Bottom, choose Flower.ai. And there it is. Repeat Mode Reflected, I just want one. So just click on Once, and there it is. You can scale it up or down. You can blur it a little bit if you wish. In the water, you can change the wave height. You can smooth it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make the water a little bit more opaque by increasing the surface opacity value. We can also have a sky that is being reflected on the water. So let's go ahead to the project panel again and import a file. Let's import clouds.mov and click on open. And let's drag this down to the composition. There you go. And we can make it invisible. Choose the water layer again and let's go to the effect controls panel where it says sky. Choose the Clouds layer. Let's not reflect it. Let's just have it once. And let's stretch to fit. Let's also reduce its intensity a little bit. We can even add a light to this. Say we want it to be point source. Maybe we want to change the light height or we want to make the ambient light a little bit darker. Maybe it's a pool at night, maybe with um, yellowish light somewhere, say here, and you get the point. You can keep on adjusting things. The important thing to realize is this. This particular effect is using three different control layers. It's using the flower, it's using the waves, it's using the clouds. So let's go ahead and RAM preview this. That's zero on your numeric keypad. And if you keep on tweaking and tweaking and tweaking, this can give you really realistic water.